Hey, what's up everyone? Aaron here. Thanks for coming by and checking out another video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Fillmore 11 to showcase homes. So if you're a realtor and you have Fillmore 11, this is going to be very useful for you. And if you don't have Fillmore 11, well, make sure you use the links in the description down below to get your copy, whether it's Mac or PC. Now, the techniques I'm showing you here, yes, are for realtors and highlighting their homes that they're selling, but you can also use these techniques for or any of the other Insta modes on Fillmore 11. So whether you want to do it a YouTube intro, maybe a intro or short clips of a video you're looking to create and you want to have like a little promo of it, you can use the same technique. So enough of me talking. Let's jump on the computer and see how this is done. And this is super easy. So don't stress if you've never used Fillmore 11 before. You're going to love this. All right, so now we have Fillmore 11 up and running. And as always, if you don't have a copy of Fillmore 11, make sure you use the links down below to get your copy for Mac or PC, and then you can follow along and create your own videos and share those with the rest of the world, which is pretty cool. So again, this is just for realtors specifically, but the things that I'm showing here can be used in other aspects, whether it's doing a intro to your YouTube channel, maybe it's to do a quick Insta mode intro for a video that you're creating or a project you're working on. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Insta mode first. It's going to bring up a whole bunch of different templates for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the business section right here and we're going to click on see all. Then it's going to bring up a whole bunch of different business templates for you. And we're going to come down here to minimal real estate. We're just going to click on that one to open up. Now this is where we're going to do most of our work here. So it's a little bit different than what you're normally used to when seeing Filmora in the normal editor. And it's really, it's different, but not that different, I guess you could say. So what you want to do is import your photos. So, or your video, whatever you're going to be doing. But right now for today, we're just doing photos. So we're going to click on this button here. It's going to open the folder that you want to bring in uh, photos. So I'm just going to hit the uh, photos I want and hold down the control button to be able to select more than one of the, uh, one of the photos. And then we're going to hit open. It's going to import them for you really quickly. Now you can see they're labeled one through seven. So maybe I don't want that to be the first photo people see. Maybe I want people to see the outside. Then I want them to see maybe the kitchen and then go into different shots of the living room into a bathroom into, well, no, maybe we'll do kitchen, dining room, living room, bathroom, bedroom. And then we're going to click on auto create once you have everything the way you want it. It's going to put them together real quick and then it's going to start playing. So you have some stuff over here where you can import other texts and stuff like that. But right now we're going to talk about just what is auto created for us. On your right side, you're going to see all your different elements. So like, let's say I want to title this. I want to edit this title. I'm going to double click on it. And then up here in the text box, I'm just going to put welcome home. And then maybe here, I'm going to change that to a different type of text and then put call today and then five, 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 your phone number. Now that's too small for me. I can drag it and just increase the size and then put this to where it's centered. So they have that. And then just go on the playhead here and continue to scrub through to where I see different things. So maybe this one here, I want to put a double click on it and put kitchen. And then you can put updated or whatever it is you want to put in here and then put in your information there and then continue to scrub through. And then each one of these you can change to you, how you see fit for your client or the type of home that you're selling. And then it's going to bring you through each one. And you can see here, I can also grab the playhead here and move it through. And then if I wanted to add something like say there's just this text here, maybe I wanted to add text on this one. That's what I can go over here and pick something to throw in there. However you want to do it. And then at the very end, you'll have some more, another one, and then you will have your information. So you put in your information. So it's whatever you're going to, you know, your name, your phone number, your real estate company, so on and so forth. And then what we're going to do is hit export once everything's done the way you want it to. Now, before you do that, if you wanted to change the music, the music settings are here. If you needed to add some different uh, effects or if you want to, the overall global setting of everything, you can go there. Mostly, you're going to probably just be doing stuff within the timeline as far as editing this stuff and then maybe changing up the music if you don't like the music because certain music fits with different houses. So once you have that, you're just going to hit export. I don't know why that's popping up. We'll get rid of that. Then we'll just call this uh, new listing video. 
and then make sure we go into our settings. You can change everything just like you would any other regular uh, video that you're editing through Filmora 11. Hit OK. And then uh, I sometimes have this click, the auto highlights. Make sure you take that off because the video is only 42 seconds. And then hit export. And then it's going to export the video. And then you can share that wherever you'd like on any type of social media platforms. Your clients are going to think you did a great job because it's really well done and professional looking. And it really didn't take you that much time. So let's jump off the computer. All right. So like I said, this is super easy to get done. It's going to make you look like a rock star if you're a realtor highlighting your client's home or anything else that you're looking to sell or promote because the software does a lot of the work for you and all these templates there are fantastic. So take a look, dive in there. There's a ton of templates to use. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.